Welcome to the media box of the World Forum for Democracy. This year the World Forum is centered about the question, um, is populism a problem? I welcome Ms. Anna Rurka, President of the International NGO Conference of the Council of Europe. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. And Mr. Luc Martens, Member of the Congress of Local and Regional Authorities of the Council of Europe. Welcome. You both participated in the networking session on antidotes to populism, connecting people and politics. I would like to know from you, um, Ms. President Anna Rurka, why do you think the disconnect between people and politics seems to increase and what role do civil society organizations play in this disconnect? Thank you very much. Thank you for, for your invitation. Um, uh, maybe just explain the place from where I speak. Um, the Conference of the International NGOs of the Council of Europe uh, is, is the institution. So Council of Europe is really the unique uh, institution in the world uh, which given to the civil society organization this participatory status. Um, yes, I think that uh, today we are all and in different places where we work and who, different level of responsibility, we are agreed that we should work the connection between the population and between the decision, the, 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 the decision making person. Uh, and from my side, this exclusion of the person are the really um, one of the major factor of the populism. Uh, and also disinformation, because it is really, we, we are in the time when the evidence uh, don't have the value, and this is, you know, and we should really come back on the question of the evidence and not really be uh, influenced by the opinion of the person, because it's the manipulation. Today, the definition of the populism is really manipulation. And when the people are not connected to the decision making, when they are not informed on what is the intention, what is the, what is the working progress, how the politicians work, they create really a little phantasm on it, and they are against. So, so this is really for me is the crucial uh, is the crucial point. If we don't work on it today, I don't know what will be the future of the member states. You know, uh, because all movement uh, of the person who are not happy with the democratic today, and. And also of the attitude, you know, uh, of the of the of the governments, of the authorities, public authorities. We uh, have the fact-finding visit. I really uh, go to the country and met the civil society organization and public authorities about this NGO participation, and I saw different attitude. So this is the relation onto the power, and you have the government really open one. You know, they they said, okay, civil society organization as our strategic partner. And this open, the responsibility is shared, you know, uh, and I think that we are really on this, uh, we should really increase this dynamic. Uh, participatory democracy or participation, it is not against representative democracy, it should work together. Uh, so the NGOs, international uh, or NGOs, not national uh, non-governmental organization, are the bridge between the politics, mm -hmm and society, because the people should feel that if they engage to the association, uh, they will, they can't change the world. You know, it's the really, I have the dream, and they change, and they, they can't influence the politics. They will be heard by the people who are elected. If you are elected, it means that you are agreed to take the responsibility. You are agreed to be transparent to the public, because the public, the politics, should be transparent, but not the citizen. This is also, you know, the question. Uh, what we ask to the person who wants to go to the to the election, take the responsibility and power, uh, and what we demand to the citizen. I think that this is not the same level of ethics, uh, and we can't ask the same things to the society that we ask to the person who wants to take this responsibility. So. But it should be, it should be discussed, and we don't have today. I, I really noted that we don't have the space for the public debates. We we don't know how we can uh, w speak together, and that's why the local level, the local authorities, uh, have really the main role because 
the people should learn to be Democrats. Democracy is like the learning. We, we are not you know, born Democrats. So it's, it is we, if, in our uh, proximity and we are with, we, in the institution who are really on proximity of our life, our environment, that we can learn uh, the democracy, you know. And uh, so this is, this is my point of view. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very happy to welcome Mr. Martens then, uh, who has had a long career within democracy, so to say. Um, you were Flemish Minister of Culture, Family and Welfare, Mayor of um, Ruselar, and you are also a member of the Congress of Local and Regional Authority Authorities in your capacity as Councillor. Um, drawing from this vast political experience, how decisive do you think are local and regional authorities in overcoming the disconnect between the people and politics, and what are possible antidotes to populism? Yes. Um, I should, you're told, I huh, have a, a long career in politics, and um, when I make an evaluation of the different levels, uh, more and more I'm persuaded that uh, the local level, uh, the level of these local authorities, is very, very important. Huh? More and more in the society you see that there is a shift from verticalism to horizontalism. Eh? More and more uh, we are opting for a multi-level governance. Eh? And uh, the local authorities is the authority who is nearest eh, to the reality. Eh? We are near to the reality. As well where we are speaking about the needs of the people, their sorrows, eh? their anger. Eh? We are near to them. And the other side, we are also near to define with the people uh, with the people, solutions uh, uh, which they can identify themselves uh, and for which they want to take an engagement. So uh, being near to the reality. Uh, and this reality is important in discussion because we are living more and more in a world where also perception has a big influence. Uh, and we have to overcome the gap. Uh, we have to bridge uh, the difference between reality, these who are living in the reality, and these who are living eh, are retired in the perception. Eh? And perception is also a kind of reality. Eh? Feelings are facts. Eh? Thus, we have to be conscious that there is a gap, and we have to look how we can we bring it together. And I think that the local level is the best way to do that. Eh? And um, uh, being near to the citizens, it means that we can make there good coalitions, that we can make there uh, a mobilization, uh, mobilization that we uh, can also there organize flexibility because the state it means always somewhat static. Eh? A state is static. Eh? It, it's also um, let's say it, it's fastened by uh, legal uh, decisions. Uh, it is in a, in a kind of frame, and you need sometimes a certain creativity to find good solutions so that. Peoples, uh, the people uh, can see that you pick up their needs, that you uh, pick up their anger. So I think that these local authorities can play a great, a big role. Uh, and I refer also to the to the big book uh, you have uh, read from uh, Benjamin Barber uh, when he said, uh, when mayors rule the world, uh, uh, it should be a lot better uh, because we see the people. Uh, they ask, Mayor, did you find a solution for my problem? I can say I didn't have time, but I cannot say that months after months. Uh, I have not an umbrella. I'm real to the reality. I have look my people in their eyes. Thank you very much. Um, it's very interesting to have uh, both of you together on this table. This is um, why I would lastly like to know from both of you where do you see potential for successful cooperations between civil society organizations on the one hand and local and regional authorities on the other hand? Maybe you can also provide our viewers with an example um, of the past or something uh, promising that you came across during the forum so far. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I think that just to be in the same line that, um, that you, that we should today uh, Co co the, the democracy should be co constructed by the elected person and population. But uh, we, can ob we can't oblige the population to participate because participation should be voluntary. So encourage the person to be 
part of the solution because today civil society is the part of the solution it's not the problem and uh, and that's why uh, but in the in the co-construction and in the co um, uh, co-decision maybe in some levels because we should also say well for these topics we can be on the co-decision but on this topic it, it is the responsibility of the local government or national government. So it depends of the of the issue. Um, uh, I think that um, what I really heard today, uh, it is the experience of Mr. Spiegel, who is the mayor of um, Kingersheim, it's the town, and he has really 20 years experience uh, in the local politics, not as the mayor, but, uh, uh, but he, he really said, uh, it is important how you see yourself the power. For, for him, uh, the local government is only animator of the participatory process mm -hmm. that will involve the population of the city. Mm -hmm. But it means that the, the responsibility is also shared by all the person. And this personal rapport to, to power that you have, it is really important because it's, it's more than ethics. Uh, uh, and this is, this, this, for me, it's, it's the base of the, of the good collaboration. Yes, of course, the civil society have the idea sometimes not adopted. But if this is the responsibility to the, to the elected person to say, okay, what you propose, it's not real, it's not reality. We can do it. It's not f we should also take care of the feasibility of the initiative. Uh, but they can be more effective if they are informed of what is the reality of the work of the of the politicians. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Mr. Martens. So, um, we have also uh, some experience uh, in the own city. Um, and, and if you permit, I will give two examples. Eh? We have a good cooperation with the NGOs. Eh? We, they, we are active in, in our city. And so we have a program uh, from working together with Dohbo in Benin. Uh, we're working together there, but we don't do it only as city, not only this local government. We do it with, with the people, we do it with the schools, we do it with the NGOs. Uh, they are working together, they have an experience and they can continue the work. Uh, uh, we can give a start, uh, we can give support, but the work is people meeting other people, uh, uh, each to the other. And what can I do for the other? Uh, and what can the other do for me? What can I be for the other one? Uh, so we do it together with the NGOs and we have very good results. And a second example, we um, made also an exercise what the future we want to have here in, in, in our city. Um, not tomorrow, not after tomorrow, not only on the short term and on the mid term, but also in the long term. Uh, how must Ruslar be uh, in 2030? It was a strategic way, a strategic discussion. One and a half year we discussed with the people, eh? with uh, invitation to the youngsters, with invitation to all organizations, uh, uh, all kinds of uh, groups you have in that community. And that created a lot of ideas. Eh? Uh, and by discussing about ideas, we make it choices. Eh? And so we could make a plan, a strategic plan for the future. But it it takes time, it takes somewhat money, but the result is that there is a high uh, level of identification uh, with us happening in their neighborhood. And that's very important. Democracy means you give the crassy, you give the, the, the power to the people. Uh, and you have on the one side, as you said, this representative democracy, but more and more we see that uh, uh, yeah, the power must more be shared also with people in this participatory uh, democracy and we have to find new ways, new channels to make that kind of discussion. Thank you very much and uh, I wish a good rest uh, of discussion and experiencing the World Forum for Democracy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.